very pleasant good morning and thank you for letting us share with you a few minutes of your time. I enjoy Sunrise with Pastor Hayton because I know some of you are going to tune us in and listen to what I have to say and hopefully we'll be a blessing to someone in some way. I was reading a little book of inspirational quotes and I ran across one that says you have to know what's important and what's unimportant for you. And I gave some thought to that for just a few minutes and immediately there came into my mind some things that are really unimportant and some things that are really important. And it's important for us to know the difference. Uh, the one that gave us this quote says, you have to know what's important and what's unimportant. And I immediately thought about, you know, some of the things that are really unimportant to me and that is some of the problems that we have in life, some of the issues that we face, some of the challenges that lay before us. I know as a minister of the gospel, I have a desire to do something for God, see something accomplished that will have uh, eternal value. And yet I know that there are obstacles in the way, that there are circumstances that oftentimes would discourage us and I often know that through our own limitations and lack of resources, we sometimes, you know, think, well, we'll never be able to meet the challenge. But you know what we see in the way of challenges or obstacles or problems are really unimportant. What's really important is how we look at God. And I look at God and I see a God that said that he is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we can even think or ask. I look at a God and I remember that he inspired someone to write the words that have been preserved for our benefit. I can do all things through Christ which strengtheneth me. So you know what's really unimportant is what the challenges and the obstacles may be, what the problems that we face, well they're really of little importance if we know that it's important that we look to God, God that is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we can even think or ask. So how I see the challenges and the problems and the, the, the different situations of, of life that meet me is really unimportant. What is important is how I see God, how I recognize Him to be a God that is on our side and that wants us to be victorious and to achieve. Then I thought of one more thing that I'll mention hurriedly. You know, I like to be well thought of. I want a lot of friends. I want people to think well of me. Of course, we all do. But, you know, it's really not so important what people think of us. What is important is what does God think of us. It isn't important how man may judge us. It's unimportant how people may judge us. They sometimes have such a limited view, such a lack of knowledge, and, and I know I have tried to judge others without knowing all the facts, and we fail miserably sometimes and, and don't get the whole picture, but we know that what is important is how God sees us and how God judges us. It's really not important to me how you may judge me, but it is important how God judges so, you know, there's a lot of things I could mention that are really kind of unimportant and a lot of things that are important. And you have to know what is important and what is unimportant. So, again, I say it's unimportant what the problems and the obstacles that we face may be. What is important is how we view God. And then it's not really important what people think of us. What really is important is what does God think of us? Well, I was just inspired by that little quote. and thought I'd share a few of my thoughts from that with you this morning. Have a good day. Have a blessed day. And uh, remember, you have to know what's important and what is unimportant. Dear Lord, help us to be able to distinguish between those things that are important, those things that are not important. Go with us throughout this day of life, dear Lord. Keep your hand upon us. Bear our burdens. We ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, thanks again. We'll see you tomorrow now on Sunrise with Pastor Hayton. Goodbye now.